When we think of explorers, we imagine them navigating the jungles, forests, deserts, and caves of the world, but that idea may be a little outdated. All truth be told, some of the best discoveries of recent times have been made by folks exploring somewhat more urban settings. These are the 20 most disturbing discoveries made by urban explorers. Number 20. The Adelaide Mine Mines may not be the first thing that you think of when you hear about urban environments, but by definition, a mine shaft is something that people carve out so that they can get to the rich resources inside. So I'm just going to count it anyways. In this video, a group of urban explorers decided to go out and look at the Adelaide Mine over in Australia to find out what they could see. Now, for the record, I don't really recommend doing this kind of thing with a mine near you for a whole lot of reasons, not the least of which is that when people aren't properly maintaining a mine, nature can tend to take over, which means that anything could happen. The mine was originally a copper mine, but there was a small gold streak in it. Eventually, it would be abandoned until these explorers decided to take a dive in. To be honest, they didn't find anything overtly scary like some of the other entries I'll touch upon, but they did find some interesting things that may leave you scratching your head. For example, there were bones of a dead animal deep within the mine shaft. The team felt that it was a fox, but they weren't exactly sure. Another thing they noticed is that many parts of the mine had caved in. That's what I was warning about earlier. The last thing that you want to do is be inside of a mine shaft or a cave that isn't structurally sound because if you get caught inside, you're basically screwed. Another oddity that they found was a curious fungal growth that was covering certain rocks. I'll add that to the reasons you shouldn't go into a cave in a mine unprepared because after all, you've played or watched The Last of Us, right? Thankfully for this team, they didn't get hurt and after seeing as much of the mine as possible, they then exited no worse for wear. Then again, who knows what may have happened after they left the mine shaft. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Some urban explorers in China found something you won't quite believe, an entire abandoned city. But when I say abandoned, I mean abandoned by humans, because as you can see, it is positively rammed with weird locust-like creatures. Nobody knows quite what they are given their blurriness in the photo, but they certainly seem to be a wee bit biblical. Why or how the city wound up being abandoned is unclear, but ghost cities in China are actually quite common. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. The Abandoned Forest Home isn't this a great setting for a death trap? We all know the stories about houses that exist deep in the woods, far away from the prying eyes and listening ears, but think about how many dark fairy tales have that setting. Hansel and Gretel got off easy, you know. Anyways, an urban explorer was doing a presentation one day when he was told about a home that was inside of a forest nearby. A modern home, as it had a long driveway and some other amenities, but the story behind the home's occupants is what made it worthwhile. Allegedly, the family that lived there was all kinds of crazy, to the extent that they kept their children in cages. So yeah, they're not exactly the parents of the year. According to the explorer, just getting there would be a hassle, as the house and surrounding area were very dangerous, with sharp and rusted farm equipment hidden in the tall grass and weeds and all kinds of things, and the house was absolutely coming apart. That should have been the first clue that you should not have entered the home. Now, I will say he didn't listen to that hint and continued onward, but to his credit, he could see the dangers of trying to explore the house in full due to the structural damage that was all around. He did try to go into some of the rooms and that would almost cost him dearly because as he tried to walk around, his foot literally went through the floor and you can see it in the video. Thankfully for him, he was able to stop himself from going fully on, and thus he didn't fall into the basement below. But let this be another lesson to you about why you should be very careful about going into places like these, because it may not end up how you think. Number 18. Mannequin Graveyard 
Halloween may be gone for 2023, but that doesn't mean that people aren't already thinking about ways to make next year special. I mean, trust me, I know people who love Halloween 365 days a year, and they're already planning for the next one. But even just looking at years past, you'll find things that people have done that are all kinds of freaky. Like in 2021, when the UK decided to create a very unique Halloween attraction in a salvage yard. And their idea? They were going to create their own kind of zombie graveyard, but instead of zombies, it'd be butchered mannequins that filled up the space. Now, yes, on the surface, mannequins are not that scary, but when you put an army of them into one place and in different poses, and not all of them are complete, and then you have people walk through them at night, well, yeah, that's gonna get people kind of freaked out. Plus, the person who happened to own the mannequins and the salvage yard was clever enough to dress things up in order to help it look even freakier. Most of the dummies have limbs that are missing, while one creepy display shows several child dolls surrounding a zombie mannequin in a blonde wig. So it's quite scary indeed. And you might think that no one would want to go and see such a Halloween walk. Well, you'd be wrong. Before they even opened it in 2021, they were almost sold out. It just goes to show you that people enjoy being scared sometimes, and that they will make things for people to be scared by. Number 17. Abandoned Hospital There are certain places that can very easily become creepy after they're abandoned, and hospitals absolutely rank up there for many people. In fact, there are a lot of them in the world that are said to be haunted by those who have died inside of them. In this particular case, some urban explorers decided to check out a hospital that had not been in use for 20 years, and it had plenty of things to make them squeamish. According to the person who filmed the entire thing, the hospital in question had been abandoned in 2001 and was shut down due to financial reasons. It opened up in the 60s, I believe, and it shut down in 2001. That would explain quite a bit for one basic reason, that being that just about everything you can imagine a functioning hospital would have was still left behind in this abandoned place. That also included vials of blood, medical equipment, and more. Entire filing cabinets and storerooms were left behind, with patient files still in meticulous order. Posters on the wall and notice boards showcase that this really was a working hospital up until it was suddenly shut down. Now, that might be the creepiest thing of all, because if you think about it, not only were those patient records important and needed to not be left around, but there was no doubt that plenty of medical equipment that could have been sold or transferred to another place could have been used. Not to mention, leaving behind blood is a waste to those who need it for surgeries, transfusions, and more. But wait, there's more. Those who watched the video believe that they'd figured out it was a hospital in Georgia that was known as the Bad Debt Hospital. It was up to a million dollars in debt with no way out, so they simply shut it down. The reason that's disturbing is that it also meant that locals had to go 90 minutes for medical attention, and that led to a plethora of bad things happening, which included a spike in heart attack victims. Number 16. Shaniko, Oregon it took me a while, but I'm going to talk about the first ghost town that will be on this list. How many more will there be? Well, who knows, but the first one I'm talking about is Shaniko, Oregon. Before you ask if this was a gold or silver town, it was not. It was actually a place that was located next to a massive wool and wheat field back in the early 1900s. So much wool was there that it was nicknamed the wool capital of the world, and was also a key location for the Columbia Southern Railway, so a lot of people visited the town. So, given everything that was going on in the town, how did it end up a ghostly wreck? Well, times do change. In 1911, the Oregon Washington Railroad and Navigation Company opened a route that linked Portland to Bend through a river canyon, and that diversion would lead to the town becoming basically abandoned over time. The town did get some surges due to important construction projects that were going on, but by the 1960s, its population had went from a whole lot to just dozens. Eventually, it became a true ghost town, and one that gets people visiting it every year, and because of certain flaws within the town, it could not actually handle large-scale tourism. As such, even in its ghost town status, it's disturbing how things keep happening to it. Number 15. Soviet Space Shuttle Program This one probably got your attention because you may not have been expecting me to go into space and talk about abandoned places that people have explored. But that's the rub, isn't it? 
At one point, the USSR had no greater thing to focus on than their space program. They were in the infamous space race with the United States that would catapult man into the realms unknown and to the moon for the very first time. And the USSR was winning the race at the beginning as they put the first satellite into the air and man into orbit and more. But eventually the United States got the biggest victory when they placed two men on the moon in 1969. After all of that hype around the space race and just going into space kind of dwindled, and as a result, <laughs> the USSR basically abandoned their craft that they had been making to get them into space. And that also includes this hangar over in Kazakhstan, where you can find some of the shuttles that they had worked on to help send them into space. As of now, they are just kind of there, rotting away, as though they're waiting for someone to come in and rescue them from their state. Sadly, that's not likely to happen, especially given what Russia has been focused on lately. Number 14. Grandma's Farmhouse A farmhouse is another thing that you may not immediately expect to be abandoned due to how people will sometimes live on farms and often pass them from one family member to another in order to keep them going. However, in Wales, there is a place known as Grandma's Farmhouse that was abandoned for decades and no one was really sure why. It's clear that someone had lived there for obvious reasons, not the least of which is that there are pictures of past tenants within the home and they were clearly well-off people based on the home's contents and how they were dressed. Yet, based on everything that remained in the house and how much of it was just kind of left there, it is unclear why the former occupants had left. Even the person who went into the house and took the pictures that helped spook the internet admitted that there was just something slightly off about the house. Somewhere called the brass house. So let's go and take a look. That there were some feelings that you got when you entered, and the mystery of who lived there and why they weren't there anymore really filled your head with thoughts and questions. But perhaps one of the most arguably disturbing things about the house is that despite it being filled with modern amenities, it didn't even have a toilet. Number 13. Abandoned Aquarium Now, I'm hitting a highlight reel of things that you may not have expected to find in this video, and yes, there are things that are about to get creepy in the worst of ways. In this case, a French urban explorer found themselves going to a Spanish aquarium that had been left abandoned for quite some time. Now, I'm sure, under the right circumstances, a bunch of empty water tanks can be made to look scary with the proper growth upon them, but that's the disturbing part here. The tanks were not empty, and the fish were still alive. Well, not really, but the fish were in the tanks and quite dead, and while some fish did look more preserved than naturally killed, it still makes you wonder why they would leave all of these fishes and other attractions abandoned after shutting the aquarium down. I mean, was there not another aquarium that would have taken these creatures and given them a good life? I mean, why not share the things instead of just straight up leaving them there to die? Number 12. Wizard of Oz Park Believe it or not, there have been multiple amusement parks over the years that have been dedicated to popular children's tales and stories. But what may shock you the most is that many of them were abandoned not long after being built, because not everything can be as successful as the wizarding world of Harry Potter. The Land of Oz theme park in North Carolina was one such that failed after being built in the 1970s. You actually hear him cawing. <laughs> The only reason that it even still exists today is that the people who own the park swear that it's not abandoned, which is an odd thing to say considering how they now only open it once a year and only for special tour guides where some of the people get to be Dorothy or other characters as they go down the yellow brick road. And what might be the most disturbing thing here is the state of denial that's going on within the park's owners. Just admit that you didn't do very well with the park and move on. After all, isn't that part of Dorothy's story? Moving down the road? Number 11. Abandoned Buildings Galore Welcome to Gary, Indiana, where you're going to find abandoned buildings galore. Now, it shouldn't be too surprising that there are a bunch of abandoned buildings in one place. It was bound to happen sooner or later, given how humanity works. Although Gary is still somewhat inhabited, it's home to so many abandoned structures that it still has an eerie ghost town feel about it, with more than 13,000 abandoned buildings 
Gary is amongst the most abandoned places in Indiana, if not the entire world. Wow, look at that. What is that building? It's a sad but familiar tale. At one point, Gary was a booming town with a nice economy. However, over time, things kind of fell apart, and that led to one third of the place becoming abandoned. Again, people do still live there, and there have been various efforts to try and rebuild it to make it less abandoned, but the irony is that because there are so many of these places, urban explorers come out of the wazoo to visit the place, and the abandoned buildings have been decorated by those who felt it needed a bit of an artistic touch. How kind of them. Who knows what will happen in the future with Gary, but for now, it's a semi-lived-in ghost town. Number 10. Santiago Flight 513 Given how many places I've already shown you, it may shock you a little bit that I'm going to talk about a myth of an abandoned place versus an actual story. When you have so many abandoned places in the world, eventually a creepy tale that bends reality will pop up, like with Santiago Flight 513. The story behind this plane is that it was meant to go from Germany to Brazil back in 1954, and including the crew, over 90 people were aboard when it suddenly vanished without a trace. Then, 35 years later, in 1990, it emerged with the bodies of its passengers and crew still on board. So, why is this a myth and not a real story? Well, because there is no Santiago Airlines, there's no record of a Flight 513 ever being launched, and the city that the flight is supposedly based out of didn't even have an airport. Facts do matters in such stories like these. Number 9. Millions of Dollars In contrast to the last tale, this story is 100% real. An urban explorer decided to take a look inside of an unfinished $12 million mansion, and inside was about $100,000 worth of stuff just lying there and collecting dust. Some of that stuff included very nice cars and designer clothing. That alone would be disturbing, but how did the house get in such a state? Well, a surgeon was building the home for himself and his family and was already outfitting it with expensive things. But then he and his son died in a plane crash, and because of bad choices on his part, his life insurance policy did not get paid out to his wife. As such, the bank ended up seizing the home, and it became a very abandoned money vault. Oh, the irony. Number 8. The Waldeck Mine Here's another mine story for you that comes out of Australia. This explorer, who runs a YouTube channel about going into abandoned mines, went into one that was called the Waldeck Mine. It was 150 years old, and it apparently used to be a gold mine. At first, everything was fine. He's just doing some basic exploration. But then he starts to hear some things. He thinks it's the wind at first, but that sound persists, and it gets a whole lot creepier. And not really wanting to find out what it was, he gets out of the mine as quick as possible. And, uh head back out to the portal. Um, Some think that the entire thing was a stunt, and you can't discount that possibility, but it also could have been something else. You just never know. Number 7. The Fairy Tale Shoe House You've all heard the tale of the old lady that lived in the shoe, but it turns out that there was actually once an old woman who did. It's an abandoned place that's in Britain, and I promise you that it's true. On the Olive White, there is a shoe house that has doors, windows, and everything that you can think of. So, who built it, and why was it built in the first place? Nobody honestly knows, which makes it both disturbing and interesting at the same time. You know, I would love to come here and stay here a couple of nights. <laughs> there are some guesses, such as how it might have been part of a children's camp back in the 1950s, or it just could have been a really weird resort. Nobody has any idea, and there's very little information about this shoe house outside of the fact that it exists. So, that raises a whole lot of questions, not the least of which is why anyone would make a house like this. These are the mysteries that keep me up at night. Number 6. Abandoned McDonald's The hits just keep on coming with things that you wouldn't expect to see on this list. After all, an abandoned McDonald's? Well, that seems like a waste of money, 
and we all know how much that company loves to make some cash. Apparently, this McDonald's was abandoned back in the 1980s, and you honestly can't even tell that it was a McDonald's in the first place from the outside. The explorer who found it got some really nice pictures of the outside, and inside they noted how crazy it was that is still mostly intact and was not actually being used and just collecting dust. And I happen to agree with him on that. It does seem odd that the place was just abandoned. It might have been a business reason, or it could have just been the higher-ups were not loving it. Number 5. Darren Kuyu Here we don't only have an abandoned place, but an entire city. It's already pretty disturbing, but what may shock you is that this place is one of Turkey's underground cities in the literal sense. The people there built these massive underground cities by hand, and they were outfitted with everything they needed to live a normal life. But obviously, it is not normal for someone to just live underground, so what the heck was actually going on? During the period when the city was made, there was a lot of religious persecution taking place, so the people felt that in order to get away, they had to go underground where no one would find them. Today, this and other underground cities are protected by UNESCO, meaning that they'll be preserved and remembered for many, many years to come. Number 4. The Lake Shawnee Amusement Park It's always sad when you hear of an abandoned amusement park because those places absolutely can become abandoned easily if there's no one going there. In the case of Lake Shawnee Amusement Park, it was opened in 1926 when proprietor Conley Snedal Sr. had purchased the land and wanted to make a place where families could come together and have fun with their children. However, some families did not have fun because their kids actually died at the park. That led to its first closing, where it remained untouched for decades before being reopened again in the 1980s. It would eventually shut down once again, and there were many who believe the place is haunted by those who have perished there. Number 3. The Dollhouse Now, you all knew that the dollhouse was likely coming. In Ontario, Canada, an urban explorer ventured deep into the woods to find a house that reportedly had some really creepy stuff in it, and he was greeted by something even more sinister than he could have imagined. Hundreds of dolls. But the dolls weren't only inside the house. Some of them were outside, as if waiting and watching for somebody to approach. The inside of the house was almost a disaster area with more dolls and plenty of toys that had been torn up for various reasons, so it leaves the question, what actually happened to this house? Well, that's a mystery that nobody is solving anytime soon. Number 2. Japan's Wild West It's quite ironic that Japan, a land that's known for samurai and ninja and such, would make a theme park that was dedicated to the American Old Wild West. And yet, that's exactly what happened at the Western Village. It was a park that was a good distance from Tokyo and was made to resemble the Wild West, complete with robotic versions of cowboys and other townsfolk that would fill up a Wild West town. If you're wondering what led to its creation, it was the original adaptation of Westworld that took place in the 1970s. However, it was not a big success and would eventually be abandoned. And now, if you go there, the creepy robot cowboys and such just stare at you with those cold, dead eyes, and you can actually see inside of them. I think it's time to move on now. Number 1. The UFO Village Before anyone begins shouting about aliens or something of the like, I'm going to make it quite clear right off the bat that I'm talking about a village of UFO-shaped houses that were made in Taiwan. The village in question was built during the 1980s and would be designed with the goal of being a representation of the future from decades past. Because as we all know, in the 1950s and 60s, everyone was dreaming of a future of unique houses, flying cars, and space travel. Well, we ended up with the unique houses, depending on where you live. The disturbing part of all of this, though, is that they really went all out, all in order to deliver a village setting, and there were some interesting designs for the homes that technically we still use today in certain parts of the world. But even with that, it was abandoned in less than a decade. Well, that's about it from the realm of urban environments and places where people found some really freaky stuff that had been left behind by others. Did any of these tales of disturbing discoveries make you shiver? Or did you find the discoveries to be rather tame? 
If the latter was the case, perhaps you know of another one that should have made it to this list. Let me know all about your exploration and adventures in the comments section down below. You should also check out the other cool things that may be showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.